Sandy has at least two times as many pencils as David has. David has three pencils more than Pietro. Pietro has four pencils. Which number line shows the solution set of possible numbers? Okay, that Sandy has. Okay, so lots to do here. So Sandy, Sandy, here's Sandy. I'm just going to write everything out. Sandy, and we'll use S, I guess, I don't know, uh, has at least two times many pencils as David. So Sandy is greater than or equal to two times David. David has three. So, okay, David has, so D has three pencils more than Pietro. So D is three pencils more than Pietro. Which number line shows the solution set for the possible numbers of pencils that Sandy has? Uh, okay. Well, Sandy is two times greater than two times D, which is three plus P. Oh, and Pietro has four pencils. Oh, so let's turn that P into four. So three plus four. Oh, I didn't even notice that. There we go. That makes life a lot easier. So Sandy is two times David, and David is three plus Pietro, and Pietro is four. So three plus four is seven, and two times seven is greater than or equal to 14. So I need the one that's greater than or equal to 14, which is you. Yeah, I like it. These two don't make sense, and here's why. None of these make sense, and here's why. You are basically saying Sandy has negative pencils. Not possible. Sandy has, well, this is possible, but Sandy has like seven. Okay. This is not possible because Sandy has negative. So you can't do those two. That doesn't make sense. So A and C are the only logical ones, and A is the one that follows the math. The answer is A.